Welcome back to Rio Centro Pavilion 3. Next matchup on table two is the men's singles class nine encounter between Juan Bautista Perez Gonzalez and Ashley Facey Thompson of Great Britain. There are five groups in this one. Group C is our focus here. Top two from each of the groups will go through to the knockout phase. These are the preliminaries. Means is that every point matters because if you end up with one win and one loss to your name, then uh, the tiebreak situation will go back on match ratio, then games ratio, then points ratio. Just to explain uh, the format in terms of how the matches are played, it's first to 11 points in uh, a best of five games format. Big day for both of these players, their first appearance at a Paralympic Games for both Thompson and Perez Gonzalez. So proud moments for both men. There's Thompson there on your left, Perez Gonzalez on the right. So just the beauty with table tennis, you can differ in age by quite some distance. Thompson, age just 21. Perez Gonzalez, 47, but this is both of their first ever Paralympics. In fact, it's a goal that Thompson has said that he wanted to achieve. It's just the fact of being here. Just missed out on the uh, the London Paralympics four years ago, but he's made it here to Rio. So let's get the action underway on table two, men singles, class nine. Mesa dois, individual masculino, classe nove. From Spain, da Espanha, Juan Bautista Perez Gonzalez. And from Great Britain, da Grã-Bretanha, Ashley Faisy Thompson. The umpires are. Os árbitros são. Marlos Montes from Brazil and Yannick Varengo from France. On table one, women's singles, class three. Na mesa um, individual feminino, classe três. From Slovakia. Da Eslovakia. Alina Canova. And from Brazil. Do Brasil. Thais Fraga Severo. The umpires are. E os árbitros são. Valerie Scar from New Zealand, Pietro De Pinto from Italy. On table three, women's singles, class three. Mesa três, individual feminino, classe três. From the Republic of Korea. Da República da Coreia. Lee Mi Yu. And from the United States of America. Dos Estados Unidos da América. Pamela Fontaine. The umpires are. E os árbitros são. Bruno Augusto Claro. Brazil and Christopher Cole from Singapore on table four men singles class nine mesa quatro individual masculino classe nove from the People's Republic of China da República Popular da China Zhao Yijing and from Brazil do Brasil Diego Marana the umpires are e os Alan Ledley Hopkins from Australia and Ina Beckard from the Netherlands on a table five men singles class two. Na mesa cinco individual masculino classe dois. From France, da França. Fabia Limero. And from Serbia, da Serbia. Goran Perić. The umpires are. E os árbitros são. Danilo dos Santos from Brazil and Chung. From Chinese Taipei. On table six, men singles, class nine. Mesa six, individual masculino, class nine. From France, 
So what a moment this is then for Ashley Facey Thompson. So it was lovely to see him given a hug by his coach. He's talked about this being an ambition of just getting to Rio after just missing out on the London 2012 Paralympics. And there's no doubt who the favourite is for this one. It is uh, Juan Bautista Perez Gonzalez from Spain. In terms of their head-to-head, -head, he's won five out of their six previous meetings. Uh, they had a real battle at the Slovenian Open this year where uh, it was actually Thompson who was two games up before Perez Gonzalez was able to fight back and win in five. But it would be an upset if Thompson was to claim a scalp here in Group C. The reason I say that is because Perez Gonzalez is ranked third in the world, which is his highest ever ranking. Whereas Thompson ranked 18th, which is three below his highest ever ranking. But a special moment for both players, their first ever Paralympic Games. It'll be the Brit, though, Thompson, to get us underway first in this first encounter in Group C. Just a reminder that this is a men's singles class nine matchup. What class nine means is that they have mild impairments of the leg or legs, or mild impairments of the playing arm, or severe to moderate impairment of non-playing arm, or moderate impairment of the trunk. who uh, explains that his nickname is Speedy Gonzalez, so expect to see him move around the court in lightning quick fashion. Despite being just three years shy of 50. That's wonderful play using both sides of the court. Had a success this year, won gold at the Spanish Open. Perez Gonzalez also went silver at the Slovakian Open. Uh, this his best achievement, winning bronze at the European Championships in 2015. And then uh, won silver, incidentally, in 2013 in the European Champs in, uh, in Class 10. Spain have only ever won one gold in uh, para table tennis. Big hitting from both players, but Perez Gonzalez has started like a train here. Seems in the groove already. That's a massive forehand. Gave himself plenty of time to wind up. He's a fair way back here, but. The speed and spin generated on the ball, something else. Thompson, who uh, describes himself as cheeky, funny and happy. He'll be hoping to be happy after this opening matchup. He's just delighted to be here. Let's have a bit of spin put on the ball there by Perez. Thompson didn't read it. Just forcing his opponent back there, Thompson. But you never quite know how players will adapt to being on the big stage. So uh, not showing the ball to his opponent there, Thompson. It's a bit of confusion there. I think Thompson just making the point that it's uh, one of the impairments that he struggles to show the ball to an opponent because of uh, his uh, hand. 
So I think the, the, the second umpire there just, just allowing the point to be replayed. Perez was happy with that as well. So a little bit of sportsmanship on show. That is one of the rules in uh, table tennis. That you're supposed to show the ball to your opponent before you serve, so you can uh, at least show what spin you're going to put on it. It's nice and clear, you're not disguising anything. It's so crucial for players to read how a player strikes the ball. And that is the first game to Perez. Takes it by 11 points to four, so a good start for the Spaniard. confirmation of this uh, Group C encounter. Perez Gonzalez taking the first game by 11 points to four. It's a dominant performance, a really good start by the 47-year-old. So work to do for Thompson. Some interesting uh, information they handed to Thompson, just saying he's moving away from the table too quickly. He's going cross court too often, so we may see a few more shorter balls here and a few more shots in towards the body. Straight away, a couple of short balls from Thompson, and it works. And able to open up that forehand. Great defence from the Brit. It's big hitting from Perez. Taking it early. Dictating the point. Better start here for the 21-year-old in his second game. He is bringing his big topspin forehand into play more often, so he's taken on board what his coach has said to him. Just left himself a little exposed there. But he's able to take advantage of that one-two punch from the Spaniard. Topsy-turvy match so far, hasn't it? It was Perez who dictated the play and dominated that first game, but Thompson the one in control of this second game. Oh, that's massive power from Thompson. Off the back foot. Nearly in the stands where he hit that one. Still able to generate the power on the ball to get the error from Perez. That's better though from the Spaniard, hitting around the side of the ball, cutting it away from Thompson. Always spinning it away from Thompson. Speed of the rally. Too hot to handle for Thompson. Perez has found a way back into this game. Thompson just looking behind him there to, I think, see if a timeout was going to be called, and it was. So having had a healthy lead at 7-3, Perez now right back in this game at 7-6. And these timeouts are often used for double reasons really to 
certain tactics on board, but also just to stop momentum of the opponents. There you go, again, dropping it short key. Just dropping it short a couple of times and then open up. There's uh, information being given to Thompson. That's the situation in this first encounter in Group C. Perez taking the first okay, on, game, 11 points to four, but Thompson fighting back. Although he was in a very healthy position in this second game, now it's right in the balance. Spin on the serve, just doing for Thompson. It's four points in a row now for Perez, and it's seven all. Stops the rot, though, does Thompson, with the forehand error from Perez. Thompson doing what his coach had told him. They're just dropping it short a couple of occasions, but Perez up to it. How low he's hitting the ball. It was a really quick backhand, though. Took it so early, almost in a half volley. But again, Thompson able to get that big forehand into play. So the ball can travel up to 200 kilometers an hour the table in 0.11 seconds so that's how good these players have to be at reacting as Perez misses with a forehand and now it's Thompson with the opportunity to level things up in this match as a game point and went big on the forehand and look at that signaling to his coach how close he was just taking a nick off the net carrying it wide it is a game of margins, a match of margins. Interesting serve from Perez, and it clearly foxed Thompson. And it just goes to alternate serving points now. Perez with a game point. And that's undercooked by Thompson. So Perez, who saved a game point in the game, is able to find a way through it. Delight for the Spaniard as he goes two games to love up. There you go, confirmation. A lot tougher for Perez in that occasion. Won the first game, 11-4. Second game, he had to fight back. He was behind for the majority of it, but wins it by 12 points to 10. Coaches, you have to play such a big role in table tennis. for Thompson to take on board. This was going to be a big ask for the British player that ranked 18th in the world, up against someone ranked third in the world. That's the underdog. So plenty of character and fight there in that second game and it should give him some belief. Key here for Thompson is not to get too down because he will probably feel that he should have won that second game. Momentum certainly with Perez. And that's a delightful forehand up the line, which Perez didn't pick at all. It's about that he got into the sport, Thompson, incidentally, because he'd never been told he was talented at anything. He was told that in year seven at school, one of his teachers, that he had a real talent for table tennis, and from there, he's never really looked back. About how hard he's had to work to get here. Big fans of other sports. Perez Gonzalez lists his uh, 
hero was Spanish tennis player Rafael Nadal. Jumps in incidentally, a big basketball fan, Kobe Bryant. That's his man. That's, uh, the LA Lakers, big Arsenal fan as well in the football or soccer. As they call it in the States, of course. Vicious backspin on the backhand there from Thompson. Remain focused. Doesn't look like there's been any hangover from losing that second game. Another tight game, this one. Four points all. Although frustrated with himself for missing that return. Well, it was great defence for a while from Thompson, but relentless pressure from Perez. Clever there. Just watch how early he takes this ball here. Just a bit of a shove or a bunt up the line with the backhand. Dropped it nice and short as well. It's clever table tennis from the Spaniard, who's on a bit of a roll here. Oh, it's a monstrous backhand from Thompson. It's about the ball travelling at around 0.11 seconds. And the time that it takes to get over the net, that is quicker than a blink, incidentally. This was demonstrated by this backhand here. Look how quick this happens. Bang. No time for Perez to react there. Edging towards a first win in Group C is Juan Bautista Perez Gonzalez. And he's just gone long. I think he took a nick off the net. So it is five match points for Perez Gonzalez. The world number three looking good. An excellent performance from the 47 year old Juan Bautista Perez Gonzalez. It was all about that second game, wasn't it? Had to save a game point in that one, but comes through in straight sets. He's the first Group C winner. He's got past uh, Ashley Facey Thompson. There you go. It was a valiant effort from uh, the Brit. Of course, this is uh, a first Paralympic appearance for both players, but it 